Welcome back to No Man's Sky, everybody. This is Alan Paul, and we're not quite at the end of a regular playthrough. So, as you saw in the last episode, it was entitled The End, with a question mark. Well, that's because we have just a little bit more to do. So, as you know, as you look at me and my busted-up ship behind me, that we do have a couple other things going on in our log. First things first, we have to install the Remembrance. We do have to get some of this other stuff taken care of. We have a planet in distress, so we got to look for that this place as well. Um, I'm going to go ahead and leave it here for now, but we'll come back to it. And there's a couple other things it asks us to do, and I'll just go over those real quick. But you'll notice it says New Beginnings. New Galaxy awaits. The universe is yours to explore. Enjoy the junior, the journey. So there you are. So, accepted the guidance of the Atlas, and here we are. There's nothing to do but enjoy the journey. Now, by restarting the universe, not only do we have a busted up ship that we have to fix, so that's going to be fun to do with what we've got, um, we have to... Uh, pardon me, I, what I was going to say is that you, you understand that Apollo, he's gone. Artemis, as you know, is no longer available. But... These, if you go by the storyline as how it is, these ones are still still exist in this world. They've been restarted as new entities. But Apollo will never remember your character, neither will Artemis. They're travelers in another area of the galaxy, possibly at a different dimension or a different galaxy entirely, starting a new journey, trying to figure out things. And that includes Null. And this is the first time Null has restarted. He's restarted the galaxy himself many times and been the only one to remember just like you are. But now he's starting over as his original self with no memory of what came before. So it's a very interesting storyline as you can see. It's been very powerful if you will. So while we're here we're gonna go ahead and start just like we would as if we were starting a new episode. We'll go ahead and do this reiteration. Re I'm not gonna read it because it's a deliberate transfer as usual. Fresh iteration generated. Anomaly containment prepared. Broadcast. See, compliant. Same exact thing we've gotten before. And we'll pick up some things on the way because guess what? We're going to need to gather up some things. Unfortunately, we need a lot of wiring looms. So we're going to have to find some stuff. So I'm just going to show you a little bit of something on how to do that. There we go. And let's see if this has anything inside for us. I can always use microprocessors. The hydrogen jelly is fine. And there we go. That should do it for now. Alright, so what do we got to repair? So on our exosuit, we're in bad shape, but we've got all the necessary things. We're just going to need a lot of wiring looms uh, and other stuff. So I'm going to hold off on that because we want to get our starship going. We do have to get our uh, boosters going and the shield as well. We have to clean, fix the shield. So we need this one going, the anti-gravity well. So we need inverted mirror and we need a crystallized heart. The problem is we don't have those items. We don't have a crystallized heart. So that's something I have to think about on how to get that taken care of. Um, the other thing we need is... Is it the pulse engine, I believe, that we have to repair? Definitely not the hyperdrive. And we have enough to repair that, so let's go ahead and fix that real quick. So that's one item fixed. But we have to get this fixed, and we don't have the ability to get a crystallized heart right now. Unless we uninstall something. And I, I'm really, really hesitant of uninstalling anything. Because um, that, will, that will hurt us at this point. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to bring in possibly another ship. Uh, let's see. Nemesis Asleep. Or the Architect. Let's see if we can pull in the Nemesis Asleep. And maybe if we can find ourselves a dissonant planet, we can fix this. This unit. Let's see, looks like we got a sentinel over there, so that's a, a building we can get a upgrade from. Maybe we'll try that real quick. What do you say? 
use the hijack laser. Thank heavens I fi I, I switched out exosuit uh, exo tools. Ah, that was a another piece of technology we could use, which we can go to our anomaly and pick up more stuff. So make sure you do that. I'm just going to pick up things along the way. Who knows what kind of upgrades you might get? This seems to be a pretty decent planet we're on, though. Mining beam module. How interesting. An S-class graded one, too. Uh, where is our... There it is. Excellent. Very nice, very nice. That'll help my mining beam quite a bit. Okay. So we need our bolt caster. So we got to get in through the front door. Okay, good deal. Now let's see if we are fortunate enough and smart enough to get what we need here. Let's get some nanites. I don't have to worry about our shield right now. now let's see if we can figure this one out. A uh, mass-mailed corporate message sits unread on the terminal. It is full of high numbers and seemingly impressive profit margins. The tone seems satisfied and grateful. Friend, get trade, something, something, high, something, units. At its foot, the employee can choose between one of two images, a galactic unit banking account or a full cargo, full hold of cargo. Um, units, it said. So I'm going to go with the unit account and see what happens. Got it. I received funds from the messenger senders. And I got units. Excellent. So that's pretty good. Not bad. Oh, uh, well, you know what? I don't think I have. Do I have? No, I don't have an Atlas Pass. Okay, so we're not worried about that. Let's go ahead and exit this uh, building. Which way did we come in? This way, was it? No. What the heck? Why am I missing the door? Oh, here it is. That's why the door is open. Duh. Okay, good deal. So we got something out of that. We didn't get what I was hoping for, but we got something out of that. Now, for some reason, even though my exosuit has damaged, my backpack, jet pack, I should say, seems to be working pretty well. All right. So we need a crystallized part. Uh, let's take a look at our world that we're in. It looks like it has a moon. Two, three planets and two moons. How interesting. Let's check it out. We'll have to just use Nemesis asleep and hope that we don't get attacked. We'll leave our ship here. Alright. We have a space station nearby. Let's take a look at some planets, shall we? Looks like there's one right here. Scalding planet, so we got a hot one there. It looks like we got there's a moon behind it. There's the moon for this one. Airless. Well, that's kind of handy. What kind of planet is the one we were just on? It was overgrown. Okay, that's okay. And it looks like we got a planet right here. And that's a planet planet. Okay. Acrid. Okay, good. So back this way. So we want to go to the space station. So we're going to head there. And again, it looks like the moon might be, high, might be behind this planet. Alright, we're going to hit the space station. What we're going to do is we're going to pick up some wiring rooms. We're going to need a metric ton of them. So as many as I can gather. I'm thinking somewhere about 40 or more. Uh, what is that? Obviously, I just slow down. Space signal, so it's probably just a traitor. I'll talk. Let's see what we got. Life and friend. Ready for inspection. Let's go ahead and check it out. Get relics. No, I don't think you really have much I can use. There's really not a lot of it, no matter what you have. So, this might be a fairly, um... What's the word I'm looking for? Uh, a very poor system we're in here. Probably a one-star economy. And another trader. Yeah, we're gonna just leave him behind. I don't know which direction we're in here. There we go. And 
we will visit the anomaly, like it says here. Check things out. And we have 1,350 Quicksilver, so we're doing pretty good there. All right. Uh, let's hit the terminal. I don't think we have anything in our inventory to sell, but... There we go. Uh, let's start with selling, just to see what we got. We got a cargo bulkhead, but I'm going to hang on to that. Hot servos, divergent cube, mordite. And the Viking tablet we can get rid of. Keep the walker brain and the frigate module. Crystal sulfides will hang on to... And we really kind of want to hang on to everything. Let's get rid of the meaty chunks. We don't need those. Hard frame, we'll, obviously we hang on to that. And the pearls, the feline livers we'll get rid of. I like to always keep one of extra of all those. Alright, that's fine. we got 18 million, so let's see how much we can get out of this. Ferrite dust, we'll go ahead and gather it. Uh, they, oh, there's the wiring looms. So I'm going to bring this up to 10. I'm going to get 10, 20, 30, 40. I think I'm going to get 50 of them. Let's get some microprocessors. I'm going to get about 15 of those. Let's get a few metal plates. How about five hermetic seals? We'll get some magnetic resonators, some hydraulic wires. I just have a bunch. I'm going to need them. Okay. I'm going to gather up some other stuff, too. We're going to need some things. Gold. Uh, pyrite is handy for any ship. I do have magnetized ferrite, but I'll get more. And I do have ammonia, but I'll get more. So I'm going to clear out their inventory of stuff here. So that's going to get us going here. All right. Let's just make sure these guys don't have anything else I could use. Okay. Let's see, we got all that. Paraffinium, yes, we could always use more of that. Chromatic metal is always a good thing to have. Dioxide is always a good thing to have. We're going through a lot of money, I know. But we need this stuff. Especially if we're going to be repairing a lot of things. Uh, quantum computers, let's get a few of those. Don't usually use amino chambers for repairing anything. Ionized cobalt is probably a good idea. We do have some silver. I'll get some more. Okay. Anybody else? Looks like we got a guy over here. And trust me, you're going to be sitting there saying to yourself, why is he getting all this baloney? Trust me, we're going to need it. We're going to definitely need more chromatic metal. Okay, we should be good. I think we've got most of everything we need. Here's a, a hauler. We haven't touched any haulers yet. So let me just check him out. Looks good. I got hydraulic wiring already. Let's get a few extra of those. Uh, we got silver. We got pyrite. Okay, we got everything in here. All right, we're good to go. Let's head back to the planet and back to our other ship. And we'll come back to the space station later because we may need more stuff. But as long as we can get our ship repaired, that's the scalding planet. We want to head back the other way to that planet. And when we get there, we'll go ahead and get our main ship repaired. Hopefully we make it back in one piece, and we'll be in better shape. We'll see how it goes. So hopefully you've liked the series. Hopefully you've learned a few things along the way. I'm also hoping that if there's any questions you all will ask, I really have appreciated all of your comments. Okay, so what we're looking for is that. You see that dot there? Looks like a ship. That's our ship. So we need to head there. So you see our speed is really high on the right-hand side there. 
which means we should be able to get to our ship a little quicker by doing 2,645 units a second. And hopefully that'll get us where we're going a little bit quicker here. We are literally in space right now, rather than we're just outside of the outside of the uh, atmosphere. Ships just flew past me. Let me just get a little boost here. Whoop, okay. We seem to have passed it. I don't know how. Okay, looks like it's just below us, right over here. Right down there. Kind of hard to track it a little bit because of our height. Okay, that is the building that was nearby. Our ship should be right over there. I think I see it. And yep, there it is. Okay. Okay. Now, was there anything on board the ship that we needed? Not really. Um, we'll go ahead and take that. Let's take it all. Okay. Let's get in our new ship. Alright, let's fix it, shall we? So, first thing I want to do is I'm going to fix the shield in case we're attacked. Okay, shield is up and running. We still need a crystallized heart, so we're going to have to look. But let's get some other things repaired while we're here. Now you see why I got the microprocessors. We need a harmonic brain, which we're not going to get anytime soon. Wiring loom and antimatter. Okay, good deal. Still need the crystallized heart. Looks like we need a solar mirror, so we'll need one of those. Let's get some of these repaired. We need deuterium. That's going to be special. So what we're going to do is I might just put a base computer down here. Looks like we can get this one repaired. And we're going to be repairing our exosuit as well next. There we go. We're just going to keep going here. Oh, okay, we need another crystallized heart. We need more radiant shards. There we go. So we have enough to get all these fixed. We need an inverted mirror. So we're going to have to raid seriously a dissident planet to get any of these fixed up. And a harmonic brain, of course. That's going to be interesting. All right. What do we have on board the ship that we need? Doesn't look like much. Okay. That's worth only a little bit. I'm not worried about it. Okay. So we're going to put down something here. I think we're going to put a base computer down so we know where to come back. Okay, we're going to claim the site. And we're going to rename it. I'm just going to name it uh, Ship Left Behind or something like that. There we go, All right? All right, there we go. So we're going to take this little bad boy here, and we're going to search the galaxy. 
So we need to get out into space. It looks like our hyperdrive is a little bit low on juice. So let's go ahead and get an antimatter housing. Uh, where's our antimatter? There it is. We shouldn't have to jump far. That should get us at least one jump. Okay. Okay. So this system... Interesting. Wants to take us that way, but that's okay. We're going to go elsewhere. Not really worried about that. Free explore. All right, so current location is just water. We need to find a dissident system. Really don't care where, as long as there's one nearby. Looks like we got a series of systems here. There it is. Dissonant, not dissident. Dissonant system. Hopefully we don't get ourselves into a space battle. Because that would be annoying. So another little thing you can do too is before you hit the galactic center, um, you can switch ships. To one of your older ships too, so that might not be a bad idea, especially if you have a really decent ship you really like. Okay. First person. Hopefully it's one of the closer planets. Not that one. Let's go to this one. Doesn't look like it's that kind of planet. Nope. Go over here. There's one hidden. I think right there. But wait, wait, it was there. There it is. Of course it's going to be pirates. This is very, very far out there, so we are going to end up having to fight the planets. Have to fight the planets? Did I say planets? I meant pirates. Since this is normal mode, that's the beauty of this, is I should be able to take these guys out with that much trouble. Okay. Now, where is that planet we were heading to? Now, that's another one. Let's just scan it anyway. <laughs> Go figure. Okay. Is it this one? I think it was this one. There it is. Alright, we're on our way. So, while we're waiting, what do we get? Oh, some Corvax casings and three shield batteries. Nice. Excellent. Just thinking we need to recharge our hyperdrive because we are going to need it. What do we got for you? And we don't have any launch fuel, so let's look for some place to land when we get there, shall we? I don't like the little uh, jets on this one. They're all purple. Kind of pretty cool. Kind of a neat looking ship. Wow, this planet was way out there, wasn't it? <laughs> Alright, so we need a couple crystallized hearts, which means we're going to have to do some advanced battling. We definitely need uh, at least an inverted mirror or two. Lots of radiant shards. We need to recharge on that. We're running low on them. That's an interesting little effect. As we come in, like I said, we want to find some place to land that has a landing pad. This might have one, actually. 
It does. Excellent. I'll take that. Thank you. Very nice. And it is a satellite tower, too. I wonder if that means we can find a uh, broken down ship on here, or if this is one of the uh, bigger ones. Alright, let's go ahead and grab that. Always take the opportunity to grab things. It's a transmission tower, so let's see what we got. Uh, faint but insistent, bleeping noise. Bleeping, I like that. From the operations terminal, a garbled distress call can be heard amongst all of it, alongside screams and the tearing of metal. Only thing that's clear to me is a brief number sequence. Cracking its code can be leading to the crash site. Okay, so it is a crash ship. Uh, so we've got some math to do here. So 2, 4. So 2 times 2 is 4. Times 3 is 12. Times 4 is 48. Times 5 is 240. Times 6. So it's basically 6 times 240. Which is 1440. Okay. I know I didn't write it down. I did figure it out in my head, but I'm a little slow sometimes. Alright, so it's a freighter crash site that we're looking at. So, well, that's an opportunity for us to get a little bit of money back. That's about it. So, no big deal there. Hopefully the storm is over. Otherwise it makes it very difficult out here. Oh, great. Good. That's great. So we're going to have some animals attacking us on the planet. Oh, all the animals will attack us. Fabulous. I'm very happy about that. Says my inventory's full. Let me check. Uh, let's see. Yes, indeed. My inventory really is full. Okay, let's see what we got in here. By the way, we can undo that. I don't know what we got out of that, but that's cool. What is this? Paralysis mortar unit. Do we have that in our multi-tool? Plasma launcher. I didn't want a plasma launcher. I'd rather have the paralysis mortar unit. Let's put that in here instead. There we go. Much better. Okay, so we got a little extra stuff out of that. Uh, is there anything in here we don't need? Yeah, indeed. Let's get rid of the creature pellets. That's a good idea. While we're here, let's go ahead and do some repairs. Right? We can always repair this stuff and use it. Otherwise, we're going to have a hard time of it. Hot planet. This will help us on the hot planet. Good, good, good. Okay. Well, that's good. What's this? Copper. Okay, we're low on copper. Let's get these guys. Looks like I skipped one. Yeah, right here. What do we need? A carbon nanotube. I think we can do that, right? There we go. So almost everything's repaired. Let me see what we got here. We need a battery and sodium nitrate. A battery. Uh, let's see. Can we make a battery? Do we have enough to make a battery? Ion battery. Sure enough. Okay, now we just need some sodium nitrate. We need about 13 sodium nitrate. Always good to have a little extra, even though we don't have the room right now in our inventory, so we're going to go ahead and grab some anyway. There we go. That should be just about everything except for this, because I need some copper. How many inventory spaces do we have? We've got three. How many wiring looms we have left? 26. Okay. We're doing okay on wiring looms. Uh, let's get rid of the feline liver. I don't think we need that anymore. Wow, we got a really full inventory here, don't we? Okay. Alright, let's go. Alright, we're in pretty good shape. Um, so we need to find... 
crystals and other stuff. Okay, so I would love to take off from here, but I'd rather walk if I can manage it. Wrong one. There we go. Some ships. Uh, maybe going up would be a good thing. Maybe. I mean, I am seeing what we need around here. Yeah, we got a lot of radiant shards floating around. Let's go ahead and get some radiant shards. Looks like we even have a visitor over here. Yeah, see? We got a visitor right there, so we'll come back for him. Let's gather up some more re other resources first. Atlantidium is always a good thing to have. But we need radiant shards more than anything. Okay. Don't grab the gravitino balls. There we go. A little bit of a bounce in the air. Stay away from him. There we go. Nice. Alright, we're in good shape here. We got some good amount of radiant shards there. We could always use more. Lots of predators on the planet as far as the... Um, Sentinels are concerned, so that's going to mean a good thing for us. As far as that is concerned, and getting what we need as far as crystal hearts and stuff like that. Lampadium is always a great thing to pick up while we're here. We don't get much of it this way. But we're getting enough. I'm going to get one more batch of radiant shards. Yeah, we'll ignore the creature. We'll you know, get far away from him in a moment anyway. Going downhill, so going back is going to be a real pain in the neck here. We're going to want to be close to that building, though. Okay, there we go. All right, there we go. How many radiant shards we got now? We got 11 of them. Okay, that'll be just fine. We're going to put some stuff in the ship, I think, because we really could use the room. Let's head back. Ah, I just saw it the last second, too. Ooh, I could use you. The thing is, is this, this hill is so steep, it's actually treating it like it was one of those really vertical hills. So we can get a lot of extra oomph out of it this way. Very handy to do. Hello. Why are you guys doing that? That was interesting. Are they looking to try to land? I think he's trying to land. Could be wrong. Maybe not. All right. Kind of a slow roll here. Wow. This is a crazy place. I don't usually like these places with these really, really tall hills and mountains and stuff. Alright. We are up. 
Okay, so we're set. Uh, let's see. Bolt caster. We're going to reload. I'm just going to jump in into my ship real quick. Because that gives us a save point. Alright, there we go. Okay. Oh, you know what, though? Aren't we going to transfer stuff to our ship? That's right. Let's put stuff in there we don't really care for right now. Uh, let's see. Put that in there, that in there, that in there. Uh, let's see. Put you in there. Just got to remember to take it back out again. All right. Looks like we got enough inventory space for what we need. All right. Where is our friendly neighborhood guy? There he is. He's over here. Um, thought he was. Is he down the slope or is he up above? Okay. I'm detected. Let's back up a little bit. I want him up. Off, off the slope. Just gonna stand here. Come on, come on. There we go. Okay, there we go. We're done. So. Now that we have a place to hang out, we're going to stand on top of one of these things that will give us a little more protection from them when they appear. Because we definitely need the spider guys. So the best thing about this is from a distance you can really do some damage still. Okay. Waiting for the next batch to come. There we go. This guy will give us our crystallized heart. Yeah, we're going to get our butt kicked a little bit here. Remember those things? That's why I loaded it up. Do they want to explode? But they can't because they're too far away and they know I'm up here so they can't really attack me so we're going to try and try to come from this direction now there we go that should get us our second one there's another one let's get these guys they're a little closer because we want to take them out. They've got the best aim, from, especially from close up. There we go. Got him. Gotta get rid of that guy. He's causing me grief. I think we can get him now. There, we got it. There we go. And you notice we're fully repaired again. 
And I think that was the last one. It says the swarm is multiplying, but uh, I thought that was the last one. Because we definitely need it to find us a campsite or a dissident, uh, you know, thing. Alright, we can take him out. We're in good shape. Got him. Got him. Just about finished here. I think this is the last stage. But there was another guy out here. Oh. Wait, there's one more. There he is. I think that was it. No? Him. Ah, we got it. Okay, so this is the thing what we were looking for, is to get this too. So we got plenty of crystallized hearts. That'll get us fully repaired. But that is what we really needed, is the ship. Because we need a harmonic brain to fix the one we've got. There we go. So we could start this whole thing over again. Frankly, I don't want to. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're actually going to head inside for just a second. And let them hunt. Because they can't find me in here. Alright, so how'd we do? Got a good amount of pugnium, of course. Crystallized hearts. I th thought we got other stuff, too. We got six crystallized hearts. That's nice. So we got a good amount of things here. Got plenty of Atlantidium. All right, we're in good shape, I think. Corrupt swarm abating. There we go. Okay, so we can leave now. All right. Our next thing is to head out to that ship. We are going to need some launch fuel eventually, and we're going to need some inverted mirrors. And what I would really like to do is I would really like to find some way to shut all these sentinels down. Oh boy, this guy takes a little while, huh? So used to the having the sentinel ship. Oh, did we pass it by? Yeah, we did. Wow, that's crazy. Great. Probably going to get attacked while I'm on the ground here. So now we're not really interested in this ship, I don't believe. The C-Class, I'm not really interested in it at all. I am interested in that. This is what I'm after right here. But we'll go ahead and grab that too. Okay. And what it's going to do is it's going to lead me to something. It's first going to lead me to an inverted mirror. So we need to find an inverted mirror. So uh, first thing we need to do, we need to recharge our starship launch fuel. Uh, let's see. That is a metal plate, I believe. I think we already had one of those. I probably didn't need it. There it is. Okay.
Okay. So what we're going to do is we're actually... That was a little pause there. Sorry about that. What we're going to do is we're going to take a little search for what we're looking for. Because we're looking for one of those guys that walk around a dissident drill or resonator. Resonator. That's it. Got to watch the ground very carefully. All right, let's see. Got a little stuck there. Is that it? Yep, and I think we're lucky enough that it might be two. No, 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 that's actually a resonant, uh, resonant. Yeah, radiant shard is what that is. We'll attract attention, that's okay. Okay, there's one right there. We'll go after him. And the reason why we're gonna travel a little ways, because, well, we gotta travel a little ways back and that'll give us an opportunity. Look at this, we just found a grave. Wow. What are the chances? It's an opportunity. I will take it. Because it gives us something. We don't need the glyphs. But we do get... That. The memory fragment. So we'll take it. And we'll do it now while we have a chance. Alright, we got some foliage to get past here. Where'd it go? Okay, it's right over here. How did we pass it up? It's inside here? What in the world? Are you kidding me? Okay, anybody else see it? I don't see it. Oh, he's down there. Well, isn't that interesting? I'm curious now. Look at that. We got them. Let's just wait till they stop hunting. Because we're inside of a hole, and I don't think they're going to find me in here. They didn't. Alright, good deal. Any more. Because we need more of those mirrors. That was fascinating. We found one underground. What are the possibilities of that? All right, let's go a little further with this. Because we got to take the brain and turn it into a pure brain. But now that we know that we have to do that, we may do that later on. That's good to know. I, I didn't know that that would happen to your ship. So it was a learning experience for me, too, that if you have ships like this... Let's go ahead and do it real quick, because it's going to ask... There it is. Looks like I go over here. No. Over here. Let's see. Ancient site. Yeah, that's the place we want to go. So while we're on our way here, we're going to look for more inverted mirrors. From dissonant resonators. Because we need more of those mirrors. We need a few more of those mirrors. D 
to get everything fully repaired. Sorry about the pauses in between, but really focused on looking. And of course we got an incoming storm coming in, which make these things very difficult to find. Looks like we found the ancient site anyway. Okay, we can take a look from here and see if we can find what we're looking for. That's interesting, I landed in a hole. Okay, that's okay. Take a look around, look for your dissonant resonators. See if you can find them. I don't see any. It seems to be a very a planet that's very much devoid of these things. Grab the words while you can. There we go. Because it's always a good idea to grab words as you go. You start to understand things better when you're on foreign planets and stuff like that, so. And it's the same thing. I'm not going to bother with reading it all again. Because we already know I'm going to get the new harmonic brain. Which is what I'm needing. Okay. Alright, so we got, we're supposed to head back there. But we're not going to be doing that. We're going to be looking for more of the mirrors because I need at least I think at least one more possibly two and this planet seems to be eerily devoid of those mirror units so let's go down over here and take a look Oh, an archive. How interesting. Nice. Okay, good. So we have ourselves a landing place. Let's see if we happen to have any uh, resonators floating around. Well, what we may do is I may do this off camera in another episode or in another episode or something like that because we definitely need more of those. We're going to go ahead and do that, but let's tell you what. Let's head back to our ship because we should have everything we need now to repair it and get it up and running so I can go to a different dis dissident planet and get what we need. Now, something you can do too, by the way, is you can go into your log because you're gonna, this will still be here. I don't need this ship. I'm gonna go ahead and abandon the mission, so you don't have to worry about that anymore. Okay. Okay. Off to here. And the planet that we're going to, actually, you know what? We don't have to do that. Let's hit the space station one more time. Where is that space station at? There it is. It's a long ways, unfortunately. But once we get to this play station, we should be able to do what we need to do. Okay little ways to go and what we'll do is when we get back here we'll use the portal in the space station to transfer back to the ship and the mean while we're in here we're going to go ahead and uh, uh, expand our exosuit just a little bit so a little bit of long ways to go to do this I could jump around but I don't want to make the mistake of you know, missing the system so if we were closer to the station it'd be great but I'm going to use this space station so I'm, uh, it'll be very handy for me to take care of this just a shame it had to be the furthest, literally the furthest system away. Or planet away from the space station. That's funny. And then we're going to wrap this episode up as repairs are made. And we're probably going to wrap up one more episode. So if you're wondering how many more episodes are going to be, they're going to be one more episode as we wrap up a couple extra last things. And then we'll call it. 
And I think our next series will be a survival mode series. And we'll go from there. I am doing more permadeaths, but I expect that there's going to be an expedition soon, so... We may be putting a pause on this. Alright, here we are. Let's first go ahead and expand our exosuit. We don't need it in the technology area. I think we're okay right now, but we'll go ahead and put it down there. It's very expensive, but there it is. Let's check to see if there's any decent upgrades here. Uh, let's see. Photon cannon. Hmm, not really. That's about it. And for the other ship, it might not be a bad idea. I'll go ahead and grab it, just because. And anything for our multi-tool? I don't think there is, but... I think we're in pretty good shape as far as that's concerned. Scanner module. I'll go ahead and grab it. And we didn't grab it for our exosuit. Let's take another look one more time. Shield radiation movement is always good. And let's go ahead and grab a shield module just because. Alright, I think we're ready. Straight across we go. And as soon as we get our ship over there repaired, we're going to go ahead and transfer some stuff onto it and then lead our base. So, I think it's that base there. Here, here in just a minute. There we go. We are now at our location. But we are shipless. I kind of expected our ship to still be here, but that's my mistake. We can call our ship into the anomaly in its unrepaired state. I did forget about that. So there, you learned something too. There we go. Apparently it can land even though it's not repaired. Go figure, huh? So we can finally repair our anti-gravity well. Okay. What else can we repair? We can repair this because we now have a harmonic brain. Ship is now operational. Let's get other things going. We have crystallized hearts and radiant shards now. Thought we repaired all that. We didn't have a solar mirror, but we have the items that we have in there. Deuterium is the last thing we need. We can get them in our base. And I'll show you how we'll do that. And we can get this going. We do have one more inverted mirror. Excellent. So it looks like we didn't need the inverted mirror after all. We do need one more. We do need to have them on hand, but we don't have any at this time. I'm not too, too worried about it. Let's go in here. Transfer the brain in there. More radiant shards. Crystallized heart. We'll open that up. Okay, good. And you see we got that, so that gives us this. We don't need it. But we are. We could use that. That's good. 200%. Let's see what this had. 229. So we'll go ahead and leave that in there, but it gives us an extra boost. This we can go ahead and repair now that we have some copper, because we had it on our ship. And we're fully repaired. Excellent. So we're in pretty good shape, I think. Um, I'm going to go ahead and add some stuff in. What did this give us? Fauna and flora. Fauna, flora, minerals. Nice. Got some good ones in here, actually. Scan radius, scan radius, scan radius. Hmm. I think I'm going to go ahead and delete it. That gives us extra utilities as well. This goes on our ship, which we're going to put right next to that. It'll... Power this up a little bit more. It's a little more powerful now. So 8420. Let's see. Yeah. Better to put it there. Good. So we're in good shape there. I think that is all of our upgrades that we gathered, correct? Oh, personal shield. I will go ahead and add it in. What does it give us? 33 core. Put you up there. There we go. It boosts with these. 
So that's going to give us more life. And because we ate this, that's going to get us a little bit more repaired as well. All right, good deal. Looks like we've got everything we need. I'm going to go ahead and stick this on my ship. We don't need any of those here. Good, good, good. Put that over there on the ship. Ship's going to be running low on inventory space soon, so we've got to be careful. All right, we're in better shape now than we've ever been. So, we need that deuterium like we said, so I'm going to show you a little something about that. Um, before we go, remember? There we go. We'll leave the batteries here. Thank you, ship. You really helped me a lot. Oh, we forgot something, didn't we? Where'd it go? Delete base. And we're done. So next time we know, just go to the anomaly and pull your ship in there real quick and then repair it. Now if we can get back. There we go. We're going to last... Our last stop. We don't really want to leave this system without doing some exploration. I probably should have left the base computer there. So I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Because we're in the Isentum Galaxy. We haven't established a foothold here or an actual true-to-life base. So let's just find real quick. Yeah, there's a place right over here. We had a building near us. We're going to go through some trees here. Sorry. Yeah, this will work. Just a little place here real quick. We're going to land. We're going to plant another base computer. Because we definitely don't want to lose the Isentum Galaxy, right? And we're going to call this the E-Foothold. Kind of a waste, I know. I should have just went ahead and uh, left the base computer where I had it. E-Foothold. Because otherwise you won't be able to get back to this galaxy. Okay. Nice to have my ship back. It looks like our space station is right there. And then we're going to take a jump to our alpha base. Now it says an object. This is another trader. I'm not interested in trading with anyone right now. So I'll let that time out. I think we already scanned that planet, didn't we? Yeah, the Scalding Planet, of course. So as soon as we land here, we'll jump to our base. We're going to make some deuterium. And we'll repair the rest of us. And I'll do that off camera. But that's what you want to do. So there we go. I hope you all enjoyed this episode. Thank you very much. And there we go. And we will see you all in the next video where we'll pick up where we left off here. Thank you for watching, everybody. Take care.